What's going on, guys? We go back with another War Within video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're going to look at uh, Archon Holy Priest today. I've got a dungeon. I've got it all worked out. We actually still have Mythic Plus footage, even though that period has ended. I got to record a whole bunch of stuff that week. So let's talk about the Archon tree for Holy Priest. There's really nothing new on the spec tree for Holy, but um, they got a really big rework you know, in, in the later parts of Dragonflight. So it's expected that we don't have huge spec tree changes here. Like very recently they got changed, right? So um, there were some class tree changes over here. Mind Games is gone in case you didn't know. And they've just added um, a couple of talents here. Like you take less damage from enemies affected by Shadow Word, your whole uh, Shadow Word Pain, sorry. And that increases the range of most spells. 15% is 15% of 40 so it ends up being about 46 yards of range. This could be relevant in some Mythic Plus keys or in a dungeon. It just depends on, like, there might actually be a, a case where you, if you stand far enough away from an enemy, you don't take damage from, like, a big AoE ability or something. Do you know what I mean? So there could be a use for this. I just don't know what it is yet. So I haven't taken it. But there could be a niche use there. And then Cauterizing Shadows, that was already in the game. Um, when your Shadow Word Pain expires or is refreshed with less than five seconds, you can uh, heal a nearby ally, which is actually pretty cool. 100k isn't that much healing, but it's something. So let's look at Archon really quick and what it does for Holy Priest, and then we'll look at the footage. So number one, this is the tree where you get Halo, and Halo now goes out three times. So once, twice, three times, and then every single time it goes out and every single time it comes back in, it's going to do damage and healing. So you get six different instances of damage and healing on allies and enemies. So big uncapped AOE um, damage and healing potential from this tree. Just straight up. Halo is a one minute cooldown now instead of a 40 second cooldown. So they have bumped it up because it's so powerful now in terms of what it does with this tree in particular. So that's fine. It's still very, very strong. Every minute you have a big, big burst window. Now, the best talent in this entire tree, in my opinion, is this one. I talked about this in the Shadow video, but this is very, very good for the Holy as well. Creating a Halo grants you Surge of Light. If you don't know what that is, that makes your next Flash Heal cost no mana and be instant. And you get this three times. So every time Halo goes out, you get a Surge of Light. When it comes back in, it doesn't do it. So it's like one, two, three, right? And then that's just... A bunch of free healing for flash heal and then if you do a build that focuses on light weaver you can also then instantly buff your next couple of heals so there's some immediate synergy here with the spec tree which is a really big deal and with the tier set bonus that's coming in season one which is even better so look at the four piece bonus heal and flash heal and prayer of healing have a 50 percent chance to cast again at 35%. So this is kind of disgusting, right? You're getting like free flash shields that you throw on people. Those flash shields are going to uh, have a trail of light proc as well on whoever you flash shield last. It's like flash shield and then it's hitting this guy and then flash shield and it's hitting this guy. And then it's also hitting you with binding heals, okay? And then you're buffing your next heal and then you throw out those big heals and they hit people and they also get the proc on trail of light. And then all of that has a chance to cast again with your tier set bonus. So when you're inside this halo window, your healing goes through the roof because of manifested power. I just want to emphasize how synergistic this is with all the trees. It's really cool what they've done here. I love this a lot. Uh, another really powerful talent on the CC front is Incessant Scream. So Psychic Scream creates an image um of uh, your location and then it's going to scream again so this is like um shaman double cap totem this is double scream really good on certain like caster mobs that are just going to keep trying to cast their spells you can really buy your whole team like two or three seconds here with the with the double scream which i think is really awesome otherwise you get a really cool stamina buff on fort and you get extra haste from power infusion your halo now centers around you when it goes out and comes back in um so no matter where you move, your halo is going to follow you. Very, very good. And then this is the last one that is really strong. Energy cycle. Consuming the surge of lights, which you're getting for free, right? Reduces the cooldown of sanctify. Sanctify is your AOE holy word, not your single target holy word. So 
Remember, casting single target spells reduces the cooldown of your Serenity, which is your single target Holy Word. And now, casting single target heals, like your flash heals, sorry, that are buffed by Surge of Light is going to reduce Sanctify. So when you press Halo and you start getting all of these Surge of Light procs right here, when I cast, I can do this and this. Now I'm cooling down both of these. I'm cooling down my AoE and my single target one. Okay, watch, they're both going to go down. Isn't that crazy? Like, that's really strong. That's super strong. And it, and it applies whenever you get a Surge of Light proc. Not just the Surge of Light procs you get from Halo. It's whenever you get them. So, very strong effect there. You're now cooling down your AoE heal and your single target heal by pressing single target Surge of Light flash of, flash of, of lights, right? Flash heal? Flash heal. Yeah. I was thinking of Paladin. Very, very, very strong trait. Like, just the little buffs that you get that you don't okay, think are super um, strong are really strong. Um, here's an opening pack. I do a double fear here. I stopped the first cast of Spirit Bolts, and then I stopped the second cast of Spirit Bolts right there again. See how strong that is? The double fear is actually really good. Now I'm doing my DPS rotation. Here comes Halo. We're doing 230, 280, 300k already. 400, over 400k bursts there. Now I'm healing people. I have these flash of light, flash heals, right? And they're buffing my uh, heals. I have two charges of my uh, light weaver there. It just synergizes so well, guys. It synergizes really well with a light weaver play style. That's super strong. And our halo did so much damage right there. Like, it, it just massive how much damage it ended up doing. So, again, every minute, you're going to have that. So, in a Mythic Plus environment, every other pack, basically... Depending on how high you're pushing, if you get into really high keys, it might be every single pack. But on average, every other pack that you do, you will have Halo up and available, and you will be able to have this really giant burst window that just feels super strong. Um, it's it's just really good, I'm telling you. The damage from Holy Priest is shocking. I know Holy Priest has been getting big damage boosts for the last like couple of months, even in Dragonflight. They've been doing really well on the DPS front, um, doing as good as Disc Priest, if not better. Here comes this fear again, double fear. Boom. Stop both those harvests from going off. And then they're starting to cast Spirit Bolts, and I'm going to interrupt them again with another fear. There it is again. Like The double fear is really good, guys. It's really good. You don't have a kick as a priest, right? So having another CC like this is... I, I just can't tell you how strong that is. He's doing it again. Show tooltip. <laughs> this um, hunter was had like a he had like a um, a macro fail where he was trying to do some show tooltip. It just that wasn't working. Anyway, we're good. We're healing people. Big heals going on here. What is he, we did do our halo. We're doing 550k HPS right now. Um, again, this is how strong I think this build is going to end up being. Really good single target healing with your instant flash heals into your light weaver um, heals. And then mass AOE healing with your Halo that just keeps going out and coming back in. It's just good. It's just super good. I'm telling you. Um, this tree has a lot of throughput and a lot of really cool uh, bonuses there. Let's get to the boss fight. Here comes this Furious Thrash. This is a really bad moment. Lots of DPS going on here. Lots of incoming damage. And my Halo is going out and healing people. One other thing I do want to say. Halo does also apply your mastery heal. So, again, not only are you getting big healing on everybody, but you are uh, getting the extra dot afterward, the extra hot, sorry, afterwards, which is going to keep them going. Here's um, uh, Ingram Molek. This is a fun little boss fight. Remember, you have to kill the tree first, single target down the tree, and then he'll start channeling onto Ingra, and Ingra will take double damage when, when he's in that state. So, I'm saving my Halo here, and we're going to have a really big burst window. Chastise. Boom. Halo. Then we go boom, and then boom, and then we go boom, and then boom, and then we're booming. <laughs> How much damage we can? So we're we're doing double damage right now. La, 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 la. Watch the damage go up here. Two seventy, two eighty, almost three hundred. Yeah, three hundred k. Let's go. Pretty good, right? Like from a healer doing three hundred k, not bad at all on a boss fight. Again, it is double damage. I just want to, you know, we're we're cheating a little bit there. But the point is, the damage is there from holy and it's all wrapped up in this kind of halo cooldown so over the course of that boss fight this was what our damage looked like holy fire smite divine image halo doing lots of damage there 11 percent very very good amounts of damage 
Uh, and we did 264K on that uh, fight right there. So, yeah, let's skip all the way to the end, actually. We're going to go past these sections because there's not a whole lot going on. We do end up killing the uh, Mist Caller. She's an annoying boss fight that's going to wipe a lot of your pug groups in the next uh, expansion. It's going to be great. Then we get to these bugs. I'm not sure if he pulls really big here. Let's look at this. This is the first pull. We have Halo going out here. There's a lot of damage coming out from these bugs with the acid uh, that they do. It's very dangerous. So, again, it's nice to be able to basically create a build that focuses on big single target heals with your flash heals and your heals and your serenities. And then you also have Halo going off in the background hitting everybody again for big healing but you're like spot healing people almost like a paladin and then also getting the aoe healing which is really cool um i don't have halo on this pull so again we were missing a little bit of damage here but we're still doing so much damage from our holy fires they made holy fire just hit so incredibly hard man it is just crazy so anyway yeah it's good we'll skip through this I'm just going to show you, um, let's get to the last boss fight here. I don't think anything crazy. Yeah, anyway, just a big burst win once again. I don't even think I, did I have Halo there? I think I did, right? Yeah, I must have cast it. Here comes another Halo moment right here. It's coming up. Three, two, one. You can fear these guys, by the way. See how he's doing the green puddle on the ground? That's like volatile acid. If you fear or stun them or CC them in some way, you can, you can do that. So I just feared them. Which is awesome. And then it's going to go off again. And there's another acid trying to go off here. Second fear comes through. Stops them again. I just want to keep emphasizing how good this double fear uh, talent is. It is way stronger than I think people think. Oh, yeah. The uh, hunters were still buffed back here with their uh, thing. Here's the final boss. This is Tradova. Again, not a lot uh, going on here. We can't really help with any of the kicks, unfortunately. That's a bit of a problem. But we do our big halo window here. Yes, it's overhealing right now, but um, we're just doing it mostly for damage. So you could save Halo for a more important moment if you really needed it. And certainly if you were in a raid scenario, you would want to save Halo for when the damage was pouring into the raid. You don't, you know, you're going to want to save it for those moments. But in Mythic Plus, I think you can just use it for damage. You know, the argument could be made that I should have saved it for this consumption phase, but it is what it is. I used it on a higher Mythic Plus key. I probably would save it. I probably would save it, and I probably would um, make sure it's ready to go so that our team does not die because it does provide an enormous amount of healing. Here comes my PI. Remember, we get a juiced-up PI. Instead of 20% haste, we get 30, right? I think it's 20. They nerfed it to 20, right? So I think it's 30% for us, uh, which is really good. We're in PI right now. There we go. Big single target. There's a big heal on the, on the hunter. There's flash heal into heal into chastise. Somebody got in-capped, I think. Oh, the, the mage must have, like, invised it or something. I don't know what he did. Anyway, we have our Halo back. So we're going to cast it in a second here, I, I'm assuming. If Zuko... It's, uh, I know it's really lagging pretty hard because of the animations. My bad. Hopefully they fix that because that's, like, destroying my video card or something. I don't know what's going on. So I wasn't able to get my Halo off before that moment. So that's a mistake, right? I should have Haloed as the consumption was going off. And then uh, we would have probably lived there. But yeah, guys, it feels really good. It just feels really good. I think this build is going to be fantastic with the flash heal spot healing and the heal spot healing. It's going to be really good. We did 156k overall, 300k healing overall. I think we look at the numbers here. There, Halo's our top damage. Holy Fire, Burning Vehemence, all the rest of it. But getting this additional Halo uh, to do damage, it, it, it pumps a lot of damage. Like, it is a crazy amount of damage. Here's our healing overall. Flash heal, Halo, once again, at the top of our healing meters as well. It overhealed a lot because I was casting it to do damage, but, you know, imagine it wasn't overhealing. It would do even more. And then um, Serenity Echo, there's heal. There's your Divine Image. Lots of good stuff going on there. So I think that um, this is a fantastic build for Holy Priest. I think it provides a ton of damage, a ton of healing. The most important talent for sure is this Manifested Power, giving you those Surge of Lights. You... You press uh, flash heal, and then you convert that into your big, big heals as well. You do a bunch of spot healing, and then you have Halo. That's also keeping everybody alive. In a raid scenario, Halo is just going to heal your whole group over and over again and apply your mastery. It's just going to be even better. So really enjoyed this a lot. I think it's a strong, strong tree. And um, I actually think both of the trees for Holy Paladin are really strong in their own ways. So 
You have a lot of choices if you're playing Holy uh, Priest. Sorry, did I say Paladin? If you're playing Holy Priest in the next expansion, you have two really strong hero talent trees here. So thanks so much again for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, especially if you're a Holy Priest main. I would love to hear from you down there. I will see you in the next one.